Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another children's message. My name is Lauren. I am the Children's and Youth Ministries Director at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Everett, Washington. And I'm so glad you could join me this morning. Today, we are talking about bearing fruit and what that means for us. So get the kids, get a comfy seat, and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and we'll talk. Okay, today we're going to talk about fruit. What's your favorite fruit? I really like bananas and really crisp apples. Those are my favorites. In the Bible, Jesus said he wants us to bear or grow fruit, like a tree bears fruit. So go ahead, let's see you bear some fruit. All right, I know it doesn't work that way. We can't just grow oranges out of our shoulders or anything like that. He, Jesus didn't mean it that way. But before we talk about the fruit that Jesus is talking about us bearing, let's think about how a tree bears or grows fruit. If I had a picture of an apple and I just taped it to a tree I was walking by, is that bearing fruit? No, right? It's just a piece of paper and some tape. So the plant didn't really grow fruit, did it? What if I had a real life apple that I could take a bite out of and I tie a piece of string to its stem and then tie the other end of the string to a tree? Is the plant bearing fruit now? No, that piece of fruit didn't come from that tree, obviously. It's just tied to it. What has to happen for a tree to really grow fruit? Well, first, the seed or the sapling that you're growing this tree from actually needs to be a fruit tree, right? There are lots of trees in the world and not all of them bear fruit in the way we think of it and the way we eat it, right? And then, the tree needs lots of sun and water, maybe some fertilizer in its soil. It needs to be well taken care of so that it can grow in the right conditions. In the Bible, Jesus told a story about a man who planted a fruit tree, specifically a fig tree, and it didn't grow any fruit for three years. The gardener told the man, that tree isn't growing any fruit. Let's cut it down. It's taking up space in the garden. Why do you think they would have wanted to get rid of this tree? They wanted to make space for trees that would actually grow fruit, right? They probably either ate that fruit or sold that fruit at the market. So they took one more year, they gave the tree one more year, watering it and taking care of it, hoping that it would grow some fruit, it would bear fruit. Well, like that fruit tree, Jesus says he wants us to grow fruit. Remember, like I said, we don't just grow it out of our fingertips or out of our ears or anything like that. Fruit for us is like characteristics or qualities that show we're really his followers, Jesus's followers. But like a fruit tree must actually be a fruit tree to bear fruit. We have to actually be Jesus's followers before we bear fruit. In the Bible, Jesus tells us to turn away from our wrong choices and believe in him. Then like a tree that has the right water, sun, all the right conditions to grow fruit, we too can grow fruit. The first step is believing in Jesus. And then we'll, we can go on to bear good fruit in our lives. And, think, and bearing good fruit is, are those qualities that um, show we fully, truly believe in Jesus. Qualities like love and kindness and mercy and hope and faith, right? So that's what bearing fruit is for us as followers of Jesus. Let's pray and then we'll move on. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads with me. Dear God, we admit we make wrong choices and we want to follow you. Help us to believe in your son wholeheartedly so that we can bear good fruit. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, as usual, I've got a coloring page for you, and this is just this little guy with a fruit tree, right? Showing the good fruit that the tree is bearing. So you can find this linked in the video description box below and where we post this video on our website, pplc.org. You can download that, print it off at home, and color that if you would like to do that. That is available to you. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out our online virtual worship. We're switching over to a live stream model, so every Sunday is going to be live streamed from now on, I believe. 
until you hear anything different. Um, so those videos go live on Sunday mornings at 8.30, around 8.30 a.m. And those are also posted on our website, pplc.org, and on our Facebook page every Sunday morning. So you can catch those there, watch Pastor Gibbs' sermon, all that jazz. It's available to you there. So I think that is all I've got for you this morning. Let's close in prayer together. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads with me. Father God, help us to start our journey in faith with belief in Jesus. It's then that we can build upon that and grow like strong, sturdy trees and hopefully eventually bearing good fruit in our lives and in the world. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.